Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I scaled a coaching offer from 30K a month to 75K per month without paid ads, copy pasting the same message over and over a thousand times to cold prospects or sending boring cold emails. So Charles Tishnor had been struggling with scaling his Facebook ads community and his coaching program and his info products. So in this case study, I detailed the exact methods I used to drive traffic and nurture his audience through organic content marketing. First things first, let me tell you about the results I achieved. So I scaled him from 30K to 75K per month. Next, I 5X his daily new subscribers. So I took his total subscribers from 4,135 to 7,823 last time I checked. And then he went from getting three to seven new subscribers per day on YouTube to 15 to 35. So this equates to an additional 3,688 subscribers since we started working together about four and a half months ago. And keep in mind, we're working in a niche down section of YouTube talking about only Facebook ads. He also saw a 5X in daily passive views. So this is not supposed to be here, <laughs> but he went from getting 400 daily views to 2,000 all the way to sometimes 2,500, even more sometimes, but this is the average. And then once you create a video, it's like a never ending gift that keeps on giving. Your video will always show up in the search bar and in the home feeds of your target audience. So you'll get views and conversions over and over again until the end of time. This is exactly what we saw with my client. Basically our older videos kept on getting more and more views per day. So as we produced more and more videos, we were getting more and more passive views and it just kept going. So here's some proof. You guys are gonna have this document. It's gonna be in the description. I'm gonna include some links as well. I just dropped an interview with my client. So this is proof. He also put out a tweet. He was saying how this is his best month ever, just shy of a seven figure run rate. And then this is his before and after screenshot of his YouTube account. So it actually went up since last time. I'll show you live what it looks like. This is, yeah, so 4.5 months, 230K views, 10K watch time, plus 3.5K subs. And then this is the revenue. And I'll show you in here so you can check them out. These are real. This is from December 7th, sorry, December 17th all the way to now. And then on the left, you can see when we started in December, he was getting 400 views per day. And then you can see how the graph ramps up as we start working together and pumping out more high quality content. So here's some quick background info. This is Charles Tishnor, my client. He's a top 100 Facebook advertiser and he's driven over a billion dollars in revenue. And he teaches marketers and businesses how to run Facebook ads properly. And that's pretty much it. So where was he before he started working with us? I already told you 30K per month, 400 views a day, three to seven new subscribers per day. So this is what his videos used to look like, right? No thumbnail, like this title is not SEO optimized at all. 160 views after seven months, like that is absolutely terrible. So yeah, he would sometimes get a 1K view count, but usually this is what his videos look like. So now I'm gonna tell you kind of the steps I took and the exact strategies I implemented. The first step in the plan was to analyze Charles' current approach. Okay, so he had an inconsistent posting schedule, unedited videos, terrible retention, no thumbnails, atrocious SEO as you can see, and repulsive hooks. He didn't really have a hook, he was just kind of improvising as he went. So this was just on the long form video side of things. For short form videos, my client used to use the captions app and he was just making stuff up as he went. Not making stuff up, but he would just be riffing, as we say. Basically, he had no real understanding of how to capture and convert attention in less than 60 seconds and not have people scroll away. The videos were completely off the top of his head with no keyword research beforehand. So he didn't even know if the videos he was creating had any appeal or demand in the market. So here are the strategies I implemented. So I have six. They're super simple, I've made them super easy to understand. I started with keyword researched video ideas. So what this means is there's no point in making a YouTube video if nobody wants to see it. The entire function of a YouTube video is to generate views and conversions. How can you do that without making videos that your audience wants? So a lot of the times I tell this to people on Twitter, YouTube, whatever, and then they ask me, how do you know if someone wants to see a video before you create it? It's simple. We use keyword research tools to generate content ideas that have high search volume and low competition. The name of this software is vidIQ. I'll leave it in the description. It's vidIQ.com. And it's super simple. There's a keyword section, you type it in. I made a video on this, I'll probably make another one. And then next is the thumbnails. We created video thumbnails that are bright, they have less than four words, and honestly, we try and stay as close as we can to zero words. And then they always have his face in it, and they complement the title. The result we got was high click-through rates. And then for the 
which one was it? Less than four words. I notice it kind of depends on what you talk about and you need to experiment and see what works better. You want to have some thumbnails where it's zero words and it's just graphics and his face. And you also want to test four words, three words, and just kind of see, get an idea. You want to make sure you have enough video so you actually have a good sample size and you should be good. Brighter thumbnails tend to get higher click-through rates. You can split test with, um, with darker ones, but I just found that brighter ones work better. And then high quality editing. So YouTube pushes videos based on how much watch time they get. After a good hook and a captivating topic, and also just like good vocal tones, the only thing that's left to optimize is the editing. The goal of the edits is to make the video as easy to digest as possible. So how do you do this? You don't wanna just throw a bunch of random edits on the screen and a bunch of random stuff. The goal is to make the video easier to digest. So I do this by incorporating clear chapters slash like subtopic switches to reignite attention. Also, you wanna have a fast paced starting segment with some nice edits and you don't really wanna have any empty parts or big pauses or useless segments or really big stutters or repetition. You wanna edit all that stuff out and keep the video as compact as it possibly can be. Next, continuous testing and optimization. So kind of like what I was telling you guys about the thumbnails, we continuously tested and optimized videos to ensure they were generating the best results possible. If you find a topic that gets significantly better results than the rest, double down and capitalize and test more. As far as the short form video side of things, instead of uploading raw dog short form videos with no hook and no real structure, we literally did the following. I put this in bullet points so it can be easier to understand. We came up with keyword research content ideas. We wrote out every single hook word for word for each client. And then we also recorded live with the client and coached them throughout the entire recording process and made sure that they had the right energy levels and they didn't sound like this. They were very like energetic, like kind of like how I am right now. And we edited all the short form videos using Premiere Pro. So we made sure to have tight cuts, abrupt zoom. So we don't like slowly zoom, we like abruptly zoom. We found that worked better. And then just in, you can choose between basic captions or engaging. Recently I'm testing basic versus like the kind of colorful captions with a bunch of emojis. I think what's more important nowadays is just to have a good topic and like something that your target audience actually wants to hear and also a good hook. That's more important than the captions. So recently I've been just doing basic captions and it's working pretty good. And finally, I actually SEO optimized every single YouTube short. This is something that not many people know you can even do. This is just for YouTube shorts specifically. So I SEO optimized them so they can rank in search and get views until the end of time. So now if you search up certain topics, my client's shorts are gonna come up. The good part about SEO optimizing your shorts is that after after someone watches your short, if they watch a good portion of it, usually they get recommended your long form videos in the home section of YouTube. So basically it's free retargeting. You don't have to pay any ads. And pretty much for the short form videos, I was doing everything they just had to record. I did the posting, the editing, the SEO, all that good stuff, even the scripting. And finally, last tip I wanna give you guys is you need to plug your offer during the first 30% of your long form videos. So you wanna add a quick break to showcase your awesome service or offer. You wanna keep it short and sweet, under 15 to 20 seconds seem to be the sweet spot. If you keep it too long, viewers will naturally drop off. They're gonna feel like it's an ad. You wanna kind of try and blend it into what's going on and put it into like the correct spot. So that's what I'm talking about right here. Make sure to place your intermission at a strategic moment in the video, right when your audience is itching to see what's next because you don't want them to click away. By adding an intermission, you'll complete the purpose of the video, which is to advertise your offer. The sole purpose of you making YouTube videos is to get money. That's pretty much it actually. If you enjoyed this video, I need you to listen up. If you're a business owner or a personal brand and you want someone to take over your entire content marketing process from long form videos to shorts, you should watch the video on my website. I guarantee you 10 to 30 qualified sales calls every single month or you don't pay. Okay, here's, I got a little warning here. Only watch the video if you want to make more money with less work. That's it. But I'm actually going to click on my website and show you guys the video that I want you to watch. Right here, watch this video. I show you more case studies. I have even more case studies. This is for Matt Lucero. Three qualified calls in seven days. Over here, Ori, he doubled his pricing and he got a full pipeline. He's now closing two deals per month. I also explain a little bit more about my service, more testimonials, and that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, and make sure you leave in the comments below what other videos you wanna see from me. Do you want me to explain certain things more in depth? I'll gladly do so for free, and that's it. Peace out.